Hey everyone, this is DJ Music, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing an MC, uh, an MC Edit filter. I actually did not build this one, but I did edit it to add some cool features, um, and yeah. So let's get started. This one is actually uh, to recreate the Camera Studio mod into Minecraft. Um, it is a plugin that was originally by uh, Crushed Pixel. I'll put up the tweet that I saw now that actually showed me this. Uh, but basically, this is a thing that will actually use the mod, and you can actually do like really cool cinematics and stuff in vanilla. So it uses the teleportation stuff, so you actually can teleport to exact uh, rotations. And yeah, it's actually really easy to use. Um, so the original one, basically how you use it, so you use the sponge, and then you use the sign on top. Um, and then for the actual location, you'll use endstone with the sign on top. So with this current location, I'd be looking at the sponge. This is the player location, and it's looking at that block. So it'll basically be looking straight ahead, just like this. It'll rotate like this. This is slot 2, 2. And this is three, and you can actually do multiple at one side. So three, four, five, six are all these. Three, four, five, and six. So it'll just basically rotate around like this. So it's just a lot of cool features. Um, and I actually there was actually not a really a really good way to actually remove these location markers. It doesn't do it with a filter. So I basically added a a way to do that easily. Um, so that's the only thing I added. I'll probably add some stuff more, but I want to actually get like in contact with him. He hasn't messaged me back on Twitter, so we'll see what happens with that. But I wanted to show it to you guys nonetheless because it actually is a really nice thing, and I'll probably be using it for some of my trailers because the uh, Camera Studio mod is still not updated, so it's kind of hard to do with everything I want to do. So yeah, let's go into MC Edit. Okay, now that we're in MC Edit, we can see all the different markers, um, and then we can see this random block that I have here. So basically, the reason why I have this block is because the delete will actually only look for stuff with signs on top of them. So if you have blocks without signs, um, that are not markers, then you should be fine. So if I, let's say I select this entire region, go up a little bit, click the filter, and let's look at the filter. So it's called the Camera Studio Filter V2, um, and then you have the Total Travel Time, Filter Mode, uh, and Use Absolute Coordinates. So basically the filter travel time is how long it takes for you to actually get through the entire thing. Uh, if you're going to do um, actual, if you want to do like cinematic stuff, you want to definitely do 30 seconds because or you want to do three times the amount that you want because the, with the way that Minecraft um, runs the clock, it'll do basically for every um, frame, you'll actually it will like lag a little bit so you can see a stutter. So you want to make sure that your um, travel time is better. So let's do a 30 second travel time. And I'll speed it up when I actually show it. So schematic fix, uh, you want to change this to target view. So basically there's different modes for the uh, view. I prefer target view just because it actually you can set the exact target from the uh, the sponge block to the end stone, so just use target view. You can also use sign direction, which actually is wherever the sign is pointing, but that's just a little bit not precise, so target view is better. And that's a feature of the version 2 version of the um, filter. And then you just use the absolute coordinates just so you can't really move around um, and do some weird stuff for the player. So yeah, click filter, and it will run. Once this comes up, you just have to name something. So I will uh, update, actually let's say, camera studio one. Click save. Okay, so now once we're actually sure that we want to do this, change this to remove location markers and click filter. Now everything, these shadows are just uh, lighting errors, but everything that had a sign on top of it that was recognized as a marker by the filter was removed. So all this end stone, if you use it for a build or a sponge, if you use it for a build, it's still gonna be there. That's a good thing. So you have to worry about destroying your builds. Uh, just be careful as long as it has uh, a 1 in the first digit on the sign. That's Or it has a number as the first digit on the sign. And that's when it will be deleted. So be careful that you don't accidentally do that. It's pretty hard to do that accidentally, but that's how it works. Um, so now let's go and import the schematic. We go find it. Okay, here it is, Camera Studio. Click open. And here is the wonderful amount of command blocks. So basically just put this somewhere where it's not by your build. Let's just place it there for now. Click import. Now, MC Edit actually has a problem. Um, it will update your update your coordinates. So what he did is he basically has a, uh, as you can see right here, there's actually a fake command. The TP is in command temp. And then there's the command, which is actually from the, um, there's the command tag right there, which is the actual tag. So if you click exit, then it will basically just say, Please import the schematic and run the Camera Studio mod v2 filter on these command blocks in schematic fix mode. 
So basically that's just saying please actually fix these because they're not ready. So actually to fix this, all you do is click filter, change this to schematic fix, click filter, wait for that to load. There it goes. And now all these, uh, now the command is set to the correct thing. So basically this just puts the command temp value into the command so that MCI doesn't mess it up. Because it likes to do that. <laughs> now click save. Now let's head back into the game. Okay, we are back in the game. So let's see. So basically the, the way that this works is it will actually keep on make going down the row uh, until it gets to the very top. So it's, it's a huge, wonderful array of command blocks, but it works well. Let's take a look. So in order to do that, all you do is you just add a command block at the very beginning. Game mode 3, add A. Now this filter also requires uh, the ca a camera scoreboard value. This basically just ensures that uh, the camera value is, that the camera value right here is set to whatever you want. I'm actually going to add another part of the filter um, so where it says negative, or it says at P. This will only work for one player, so I might actually make it so it works with all players using at A. Um, I, I might just do that with, uh, I'll add that to the filter at the end of this. So in the filter that you guys get, there will be an at A instead of an at P. So yeah, that's just another thing, just because you want to actually be able to do it for all players if it's actually for a minigame, which I will be doing for my mini games. So yeah. Moving on. So now that we're doing game of three, just activate that, and you can see that it works flawlessly. It's a little bit laggy, and that's just because, as I said, you have to speed it up. But once you speed it up, then it'll be look really nice. So this is basically before and activating uh, after the speed up right now. And yeah, as you can see, it's just a lot better. Um, so that's basically the mod. I'll probably add some more things after I talk to them. I talk to the developer, Crushed Pixel. But up for now, this is basically just kind of a um, MC Edit Re Pixel got MC Edit Review. So it was just a cool little mod. Uh, but yeah, you can actually completely customize these because it's all command blocks. So if you want to actually like set like start this remotely, all you do is you set the person's value to scoreboard of camera to one, and then just set a block to right. God dang it. Set of blocks right here. And that will start the wonderful thing. So you see actually, if I look over there, you can kind of see the re the rest of the block go all the way around. So yeah, and if I actually get my one, try to fly around, I can't do anything because he's on teleporting me. Ah, I can't do anything. Uh before I end off this video, I'm just gonna do a real life world example. This is actually the Mojam build competition that I did with uh, a couple of my friends. Uh this is the Doctor Who map, but basically I figured it'd be kind of cool to do like a cinematic type thing. Um, I have not tested this yet, so we'll see if it works exactly like planned. But basically, if it doesn't work exactly like planned, all you have to do is just adjust these points so that it works perfectly. But yeah, so you have one point right here, which leads to the one over here. Um, and you have two right here, which leads to right this endstone block. Three, down to here. Four, over to here. Five, to five. Six, to six. Seven, to seven. And eight, to eight. Right? I think that's what this is. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, eight. Good enough. Okay, so basically that's all you have to do. Um, if you actually get a message that says list index does not uh, exist or whatever, basically if it's, if it's not finding the list correctly, that's because you messed up one of your coordinates. So make sure that one goes to one and you have one for everything. To that or it cannot find any. So make sure that you're checking that and make sure that one does exist and keeps it going chromatically. If you skip one, that'll also happen. So just make sure that you check these before you actually run the filter. So yeah, let's hit an MC edit. Okay, now that we're in MC edit, let's actually run the filter. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because it's actually not just a flat world, but you get the idea. So I'm just gonna select my area. This will take a little bit long time. Uh, let's do this like that, and then let's go this way. Uh, there we go. And select downward. Okay, and then if you click analyze, you can actually count them. So right now we have seven of this eight sponge, so one of them is missing. That pesky one. Uh, these are all selected, it looks like. Uh, this one. Oh, it stops there, so there's a reason. So just go all the way past this, click Analyze, and we'll see sponge is at eight. If you go down to endstone, it's also eight. So once you make sure that you have eight, then you're good. Click Filter, and you'll see the new options. Just kidding, that's a different filter. Uh, let's find it. So it's the camera studio filter. So basically these are the new options. I added these two things at the bottom. Uh, the default for the original plugin was the nearest player's camera underscore min is equal to one. You can use that if you want. Just type it down here. 
Um, I personally don't think you can use like I don't know why you use it, but yeah. So let's uh, for the sake of this, let's do thirty seconds. Let's use target view. Uh, we do want to use absolute, and then player tag. We, I mean, you have to do that eventually. But if you don't do anything, you'll see player tag must be defined starting with at p at r at a or at e. Um, this is actually something I haven't tried, but it should be really cool if you can do it. Because if you do at e, you can actually teleport entities. So you can literally say like, uh, let's go back to the beginning. Oops, there it goes. So you could do at e type meet with the zombie, and you can teleport the zombies on the map to the actual location. So you should be able to do some pretty cool stuff if you use uh, UDID stuff. If you spawn them in customly, and yeah, you could actually like completely do like make them have a path. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, but this for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do at a because it makes everything a lot easy. So yeah, it's completely customizable, and then yeah, click filter. It will work. Where should I say my schematic? Uh, this time I will do camera studio two. Click save, and we're good. Um, so I don't really want these points here, so let's go back, run the remove location markers, click filter, and all of them will disappear. As you can see, nothing else was affected. Um, that's just how the filter works. Oops. Cool. There we go. Now let's go up here. Let's go to the surface. Oh gosh, it's a little bit laggy. I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that, unfortunately. But I think you can. You get the idea. So let's open up the camera studio thing. You can see there's a ton of command blocks. Let's just paste them right. Let's see. Where's the spawn point? Spawn points right. You want to make sure that's in the same chunk as the spawn point. So let's paste it right there, and then let's move it down a lot. So let's go right here. So it's kind of in the sky. Click import. Wait for that to import. Then make sure before you do anything else that you run the other part of the filter, schematic fix. Click filter. Uh, these options do not matter for the schematic fix or the remove. And now you're good. So now if you look at any of the command blocks, you'll see that they actually have a command. And we're good. So let's click save and go back into the game. Okay, we are back in the game. And as you can see, all the markers are gone. Uh, the, the filter did its job, so there's basically no markers. Um, so that's already fixed. So now what we want to do is go back up to the surface and get the correct settings. So let's use our um, location sampling to get to the surface. Fortunately, that only works for players that are um, that are currently on the. That only works for players that are programmed into the game. So that, that guys, that will not work for you, unfortunately. Uh, I might I might add that later, but for now, that's just how it's set up. That was part of the build competition, so. It looks like this is the first one. The way that you can check to see if which one's the first is you can actually say, so this is one, negative one. So you can check your positive x and make sure that it's going uh, positive because it's going to move right there. So this one right here means that it's going to go positive, which means that it's going to set the next block right here. So let's activate this guy right here. Game mode three, oops, three at A. Click done. And now if you click this, you'll actually see it's TP at A instead of what it usually is. So that's just, that's just, it's a nice feature. You can actually do that now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some iron bars down, get the location of this block. So slash step block, 544195532. Redstone underscore block. And when we click enter, it'll actually game mode three us and start the thing. Here we go. Let's go, um, let's actually copy this. Let's go F1 mode for this. And here we go. So you can see it works pretty well. I mean, it's basically, it's a little bit laggy. That's just, again, the frame rate thing. But you can completely customize this. And as you can see, I'm going through blocks, but that's just part of it. Um, you can actually change that. But yeah, I mean, it works for the fact. I made it 30 seconds, so it's actually going to take a little bit longer. But you can get a pretty cool view of the um, area. And I'll show you when, as soon as it's done rendering, then I'll show you the actual finished product. You can hear the ding of the gate. And there you go, that's the finished product. So let's head, actually, you'll actually show it to you now. So this is the actual finished product once you speed it up. Um, and you can see it's it's pretty nice. It's actually like completely, it's like a video. Uh, you can actually adjust the coordinates once you do that. So if you want to adjust the coordinates, basically what you have to do is you just um, re-import the schematic up there. So don't remove the location markers until you're sure you want that. I just removed them so that they're not there, but you get the idea. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Uh, this will mostly mostly be good for like stuff like coming down the stairs. Like you can put your camera down this and look like that. But you get the idea. I mean, you can kind of experiment with it. And now that you have more features, you can teleport mobs and wonderful all this wonderful stuff. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, I will see you guys all next time. And give a like to all the people who helped make this fil uh, filter. As I said, I'll put their channel in the description, and I'll put a, a link to the actual filter video of um, coded pixel. Sorry, I meant to say crushed pixel. Um, I basically I recorded this after I went away from the video my computer for a little bit, so that's why I forgot his name. I'm sorry, for but yeah, he's a really awesome filter. I'll check out his channel. Um, he also has a, a Twitter. You can check out that. And yeah, just go subscribe to him, show some, show him some support for this awesome filter. And yeah, if you want to download this map, it's also going to be in the description. Uh, but you get the idea. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.